Hello everyone, welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Today we are going to read the book Once Upon a Garden, Doug's Dung. This was written and illustrated by Joe Rooks. So on the cover of her book, we have a dung beetle. So a dung beetle is um, a special kind of beetle that rolls dung. And dung is just another word for poop. So it's kind of like a poop beetle. It rolls poop. Dung was a dung beetle. Dung beetles are very strong. Every day, they practice lifting, pulling, pushing the heaviest balls of dung, the balls of poop. Meanwhile, Doug admired nature. Look at these beautiful butterflies called dung, but no one was interested. You need to be strong like this, said Dan. You need to have power like this, said Doris. You must never give up like this, said Dave. You try, they said. But even though Doug tried and tried, Doug just couldn't do it. You're not strong or powerful. You've just given up, they jeered and raced off. Mm. Don't worry about them, said Belinda, the butterfly. You are strong in another way. And off she flew. The breeze blew some blossoms through the air. <gasps> and Doug caught a petal in his hand. <gasps> then Doug had an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, smirked Dan. Being creative, said Doug. <gasps> so Doug takes the petals and creates this beautiful flower pattern on the dung. <gasps> then Doug had another idea. It looks like some of the pollen is falling on him. Shik, 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 shik. He jumps on the flower. The pollen's falling down. What a waste of time, said Doris. Doug ignored her and just carried on. Then he had another idea. Look at the caterpillars. He gets these balls of dung and paints them like caterpillars. And another idea. He takes a paintbrush, splop, 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 splop and paints it like a ladybug. And another. <gasps> Doug <laughs> squeezes the berry juice on the dung. Doug wanted to show off his work. Doug's art. You see his pollen dung, his berry dung, his ladybug dung, his caterpillar dung. Art, huh, scoffed Dave. Nobody came to see Doug's art, but he couldn't give up on something that made him so happy. He was more determined than ever to keep creating beautiful Hmm, so some time passes, right? Even the slow snail eats the dandelion leaf. Look at the dandelion puff blows in the air. So no one is coming to his show. Then he heard a flutter. 
Look, just as he is painting his snail dung. Can I see your art? said Belinda. Before long, everyone wanted to see Doug's art. <gasps> the ladybug comes, the ants come, the caterpillars come, the worm comes, the snail comes. It made the whole garden smile. <gasps> Look at his friends that were not very nice, Dave, Doris, and Dan felt very sorry. Creativity is your strength, said Dave. You have the power to make the whole garden happy, said Doris. And you never gave up, said Dan. So you inspired us to make this, they said. Oh, <gasps> Doug, look, it's a dung statue of Doug. I love it, said Doug. And since then, Doug has been inspiring his friends to be more creative. <gasps> painting snail dung, painting a flower, painting leaf dung, and show their strength, power, and resilience in another way. And that is the end of our story. This was called Once Upon a Garden, Doug's Done by Joe Brooks. I hope you enjoyed reading along with me.